ArcGIS Online gives you the capability to create a new feature layer for use with multiple groups and multiple apps without the need for a desktop GIS application. From the Create button, choose Feature Layer, and the dialog box will guide you through creating a new feature layer either from an existing layer or from a URL or from one of the many templates available for different industries. We'll choose the Water Utilities option, and we can see that there are templates for backflow inspection and outage details, proposed design, and more. Choose the Hydrant Maintenance option and click Create. Leave the two checkboxes as they are, and if needed and you want to, you could capture GPS info, but we won't bother with this. Hit Next and set the spatial extents for your new layer. On the next panel, we can give the layer a title, tags, and summary. Hit Done and your new feature layer will be created. Heading over to the Data tab, we can see that this new layer is empty. Now we want to update this layer with data that we got from the utility company so that we've got the latest, most authoritative GIS information for this audit. Click Update Data, Append Data to Layer, and we can navigate to the zip file that contains the spatial data we need. Click Upload and Continue. Next, we can choose the layer to append to. Hydrants is the one we want, and we can map fields in the original data to fields in the template and hit the Apply Updates button. Now, if we head back over to the Data tab, we can see that the layer contains hydrant data and is ready to be used. The final step to get this data ready for collector is to add it to a web map, which we can do by clicking the Add, Search for Layers button and finding our layer within our content. Next, save the web map. Before we make it available to our group, we can change the settings of the map so that field crews and office workers alike can search the hydrant audit layer based on whether a string is within the facility identifier field. Now this makes it easier to pinpoint specific hydrants. We can now share this to the Water Asset Audit Group so that it's available to field crews for use in Collector and for use in our InfraWorks model, all without the need for a desktop GIS application.